Hello and thanks for your interest in this screencast. Since Microsoft discontinued their Windows Small Business Server line of products, Sential Server is the only alternative to have a native replacement for both Microsoft Active Directory and Microsoft Exchange in the SMB. This tutorial is one of a series of screencasts where we are going to demonstrate Sential Server capabilities as a native replacement of these Microsoft solutions. We are going to show the different use cases running real examples. In order to do this, we will use virtual machines to deploy these scenarios. Sential offers the only native drop-in replacement for Microsoft Exchange Server. What does this mean? It means that our user can continue using their Outlook clients without installing any plugins, rejoining the domain, or performing any other extra steps in a totally transparent way. In this tutorial, we are going to show three different scenarios from the point of view of the client. Connecting an Outlook client from a Windows desktop that is already joined to the domain, connecting a client that is located inside our network but not joined to the domain, and connecting from any point of the internet, encapsulating the protocol inside HTTP, also known as Outlook Anywhere. We will overview the main features that we can offer to the clients. Integrated email, calendars, and contacts. Out-of-office notification, automatic notification mails when the user is not available, and also accessing our account from a web platform. This web platform will be bidirectionally synchronized with our native Outlook client. For this scenario, we have a central machine, and if we go to module status, we can see here that we have OpenChange and OpenChange webmail already installed and enabled. The OpenChange platform will depend on turn of the domain services and, of course, the mail. We need a virtual mail domain configured in order to enable OpenChange. If we go here to mail, virtual mail domains, we have already sentialdomain.lan. In this case, my virtual mail domain matches my LDAP root node, but it doesn't have to be necessarily this way, just to simplify the example. If we go now to open chains, we can set up the scenario. We have here the organization name, first organization is okay for the example. This will create and modify the LDAP schema so all the open change information will go under this node. We can enable open change for all the existing users. And we can also have a different outgoing mail domain. As I said before, we can have an internal local domain and a different domain for the outgoing mail. Here we have the HTTP and HTTPS proxy access, but we are going to come back again to this section for the Outlook Anywhere example. Okay, so after enabling OpenChange, we just have to save changes. And our Sential server is already configured to serve Outlook accounts. Now we are going to see the different ways of connecting the Outlook client to this Sential server. Okay, so for this first scenario, we have here a Windows client. As we said at the beginning of the video, this Windows client is already joined to the domain with one of the users that we have in our LDAP tree. We can go here to manage this user. So we are going to configure the Outlook client for this case. We just launch uh, Outlook uh, 2007, this case. This is the wizard. Just have to click Nest. Yes. OK, as you have seen, using the Kerberos tickets, your account credentials and your email address get auto-completed out of the box. Next. Now it is trying to get 
the server configuration, we have here a security error. Well, this is the self signed certificate. Of course, we are using virtual machines and this certificate is not properly signed by an authority. This is not really related with the open chains scenario. Okay, yes. And that's done. As easy as that. We just have to follow the, the wizard, click on next, all the steps, and our, all the client will be ready to be used. Okay, click on OK. All this initial configuration, outgoing mail, certificate, OK. Let's write a email to ourselves just to check basic functionality. So john at central domain plan. If we click here in the to field, we can see here the global address list. So all the users that were on the domain are already listed here if we want to use them. Hello, example mail, send, send and receive. Okay, here we have our mail. We have the basic functionality already working by just following the wizard. So some other things we can check contacts we will here to the share contacts okay we have the global address list integrated with the other parts of the groupware and calendar monthly view sample we can create an event some event and invite the attendees. Okay. They will receive a notification. Send. Okay. So here we have our event. We have seen the integration of mail, calendars, and contacts. Some other features that we can use. The, for example, the out-of-office assistant here, so we can send out, send out auto-replies for the people inside your organization or for everyone. We can configure here the time range for this uh, image when we are leaving the office. So if we click on OK, this will communicate with the Sential open chain server and configure the out of office. Here we have this indicator out of office. Let's disable it for the next example. And finally, we are going to review the web platform to use or exchange replacement. We go here to open chains setup. We have a direct link here. And we can use, of course, the same credentials we use in our organization. Let's choose English for this case. Connect. OK, reminder of the event we created before. Nice. Here we have the mails that we sent in the other examples. As you can see, the interface is pretty similar to any other webmail. And the users will be already familiarized with this type of interfaces. And we have not only mail, but also the address book, again, the search contacts present in our LDAP. And the calendar. Let's switch to month view. Here we have the event we created before. Let's create other event, some other event somewhere. Save and close. As you can see, 
the web platform and native client will be bidirectionally synchronized. So this can be very useful if you are outside your office and at some moment and want to check all your Outlook information without having to reconfigure the client. If we go back to the Outlook client, we see that actually this other event we created on the web interface is already present in our client. So in this second scenario, we are going to configure a Windows client that is inside our local network, but not joined to the domain. So let's see the differences. We launch Microsoft Outlook 2007 follow the wizard and in this case of course we have to specify the name and mail account credentials for the user now it's trying to auto detect server configuration user credentials again That's basically it. Our Outlook client is already configured and ready to be used. Here in the inbox, we can actually see the mails we sent before and the calendar events configured in the last example. In this third scenario, we are going to connect our client from any point on the internet, which is also known as Outlook Anywhere. First of all, we can go to Open Change, Setup, and configure the HTTP encapsulation. So we have the access with SSL, without SSL, and a button to download the certificate. By default, a self-signed certificate associated with the HTTPS. Another important point to consider is the firewall. Here in the packet filter, we need to provide access from external networks to the protocol that we are going to use, either HTTP or HTTPS. Finally, it's important to have the hostname of the server associated with the external IPs. So here, for example, this Sential, which is part of my FQDN, has to be associated with my external IP address. So going back to the client, in this case, this client is not located inside my local network. So the first thing I will have to do is to import the certificate. This has been already done with uh, Internet Explorer. In this case, I have imported and validated the certificate that we can find here. So again, let's launch the wizard and let's see the differences with the other cases. OK, next. Yes. In this case, we are going to manually configure server settings. Next. Microsoft Exchange account. Next. Our server, sential.sential.lan. This has to be the FQDN of the server. You cannot put here the IP address. So either you have a public DNS and this client is able to resolve this name or you will have to add it on the host files of the Windows. My username is John, in this case. We will click on More Settings. We go to the Security tab. Always prompt for Logon Credential, Connection, Outlook Anywhere. We are going to connect to Microsoft Exchange using HTTP. Okay. Click here on the Proxy settings, again the URL, 
always name IP is not valid we can click here if we are going to use HTTP ok play ok and now we can check name it's asking for the credentials of the user ok this underline here means that the credentials are valid so we, we were able to connect with the server and to authenticate. That's basically it. Now we have our Outlook client configured to work over any point on the internet.